My name is Larry Agron. I'm a public interest attorney who was privileged to serve on the Irvine City Council for more than 20 years, including 10 years as mayor of the city of Irvine. I'm also the author and official proponent of the Build the Great Park Veterans Cemetery Initiative. This is our citizen petition that has qualified for the November ballot 19,790 Irvine resident signatures gathered by hundreds of Irvine volunteers. Let me take a moment to tell you what our initiative is about. The city owned 125 acre artist site at the northern edge of the Great Park is going to soon be developed in one of two ways. Under the terms of our citizens build the Great Park Veteran Cemetery Initiative, which is a land use zoning measure. The beautiful long promised Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery will be built and operated by the state on the artist site. But under the ordinance promoted by Mayor Christina Shea and Council Member Mike Carroll, the artist site is zoned for office, commercial, and industrial uses, and will be developed under a 99-year lease, presumably with developer Five Point. Here we are. One way or another, this matter is going to be decided this year, having earned a place on the ballot with many thousands of voter signatures. Our initiative can finally be decided by Irvine voters on November 3rd. I believe the voters will once again say yes to the Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery at the original artist site, the Great Park. Of course, the City Council can simply vote to approve our initiative right now as an Irvine City Ordinance. That would finally show respect for the will of the people and it would avoid yet another angry contentious campaign season fueled by millions of dollars in developer money. Let's do the right thing. Let's respect the will of the people. Hi, my name, my name is Jane Roshman. I have lived in Irvine since 1973. I have seen many mayors in those years. I have never seen one as out of touch with the people as Christina Shea is. She did not listen to the citizens of Irvine. when They clearly voted down Measure B. Citizens of Irvine emphatically said no to the land swap that Five Point developer created to get the cemetery off of the artist site. The artist site was approved in 2014. It was planned, approved, and funded by our state and local government. That was not good enough for our then mayor, Don Wagner is clearly not wanted by our current unelected mayor, Christina Shea, and her lackeys on the city council. Christina Shea is beholden to land to five points. They helped fund her political campaign for her seat on the city council. They packed her PAC fund. What does five point one in return? They want the artist site. They want it bad. Christina owes it to the five point to fight get it for them. Some people say they have recently taken a sur research survey that is clearly propaganda designed to slam the artist site and put fears into Irvine residents' minds. The research questions were very unprofessional and meant to confuse. They were full of lies, stated several, several possibilities the artist site could be used for besides a cemetery and a nice park. Anyone who has not been following this issue and has little or no information would be scared to death about what was presented as quote unquote possibilities for this site. The government could do whatever they wanted to was the implication. They quoted a staggering possible cost for taxpayers, payers, which is of course a very hot topic right now. And who is paying money for all this research? There is no transparency whatsoever. The city is not sponsoring this. I ask you, who is? Is this what the city council is going to use to justify Christina's plan? 
<clears throat> this survey will use to continue to put fear and lies into the minds of the citizens of Irvine. Someone is spending a lot of money to do that. So insulting, Irvine voters, corrupt corporate entity is influencing our mayor and her acolytes on our city council. Shame on you. Good evening, Mayor Shea and city council members. My name is Steve Berger. As you all know very well, our artist site, Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery, was supposed to have been built and already in, oper in operation last Veterans Day, November 11, 2019. It should now become a reality without any further delay. I last tried to speak to you in August 2019, but Mayor Shea did not call for public speaking by 6.30 p.m. as mandated, and I left at 10.10 10 p.m. without speaking. Mayor Shea called and left me a voicemail at my office, apologizing for that. Thank you, Mayor Shea. I greatly appreciate your apology. We Irvine voters told you in June 2018, by an overwhelming 63% to 37% vote, that Measure B was a firm no, and that our Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery was to be built at the order site. You didn't listen to us then. And I ask that you now listen to the well more than the minimum 12,888 Irvine voters who signed our petition to put our 125 acre Memorial Park and Veteran, and Veteran Cemetery back at the original artist site where it belongs. We do not need another general election on the artist site park and cemetery issue. Please just approve our initiative and allow our Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery to become a reality now without any further political drama and without any more diversion and delay. Unfortunately, due to the wealth and political influence of developer Five Point Communities, I expect that you will continue your unbidden support for the unapproved, unvetted, and uninvestigated alternative and smaller 100 acre um, or uh, uh, 100 acre golf site that steals 29 acres from the Great Park Cultural Terrace, because that is what Five Point wants. And what really bothers me most is this, as I've told you before, the only reason for your and Five Point's support for the any site but the artist site is that Five Point wants the artist site back for development. But neither you, Five Point, nor any other opponent of the artist site will ever honestly say that. The very least that you and Five Point can uh, do can be, is be honest about your opposition to the artist site for our Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery. We should have an honest discussion about whether we are to have a memorial park and cemetery at the artist site, or whether there is to be a 99-year lease of the artist site to Five Point for more development and traffic there. You and Five Point just need to be honest, every Irvine voter. In the final analysis, please just be honest. It's the very least you can do as an Irvine City Council and as the good faith Irvine public servants that you claim to be. My name is Ed McNew, and I am a veteran, as was my father and my grandfather. I served in the Army, stationed in Japan in 1955 till June of 1956. I have lived in Irvine for 47 years. I was involved in gathering signatures during the recent petition drive. I heard literally thousands of residents various comments regarding the artist site. The one I heard the most was their disappointment that the city council had wanted to trade the artist site for the Strawberry Field site, which was owned by Five Point, near the intersection of two freeways that were very noisy and were of lesser value. They were disappointed that the city council did not start construction the artist site when the trade was defeated it was clear that the citizens wanted the artist site to be built something isn't right other comments during the signing were their general disappointment in the city council and especially with mayor shea i feel very strongly regarding the artist site as it is it is the best place to build this cemetery, and so does Senator Lindenborg. Uh, this site is the only one already 
been approved by the U.S. Department of the Veterans Affairs and by other location, be it any other location would add at least 24 months delay could cost $500,000, $500,000 or more for a new study and plan. I would, would be a shame to make the older veterans and their families wait through this unnecessary delay. I do not understand why our city council continues to support five point other than their own citizens and have shown the desire for the cemetery to be built based on the results of measure B in 2018 and the recent support of 19,790 signatures for the artist site. Something isn't right. Said. Good evening, my name is Tom Choman. I have lived in Green Tree for 23 years and I'm here to discuss the Artisite Cemetery and the Veterans Committee. I happen to be part of the uh, Veterans Committee that gathered almost 20,000 signatures in the last six months ending March 17th. And it's been just a rewarding experience for me. I wanted to share it a little bit with you to show how important 125 acres site on the bluff so much better than the 100 acre site that has been proposed. Based on my um, feelings and what I heard out there, the action 95% positive. I think we could have gotten 35 or 40,000 votes if we'd had more than 200 volunteers gathering signatures. I think you should think about that. The reaction, especially in the Woodbury area next to the Great Park, was overwhelmingly against more traffic and more retail. I think you need to know that. Um, I certainly found that out. That's where we got most of our signatures actually at the Woodbury Shopping Center. It was an awesome place, extremely positive experience. And um, as the marketing director for the Veterans Committee on the signature gathering, this has been one of the most enjoyable, positive experiences of my lifetime. And I want Everybody on the city council know that the community is behind the artist site. They are beside a 125 acre site, larger site, 1500 acres. The veterans serve 125 acres on the El Toro site. I know this was approved five years ago by the state of California. There's no more stopping this. I suggest highly you prove the rezoning tonight don't waste the taxpayers' money. Don't waste our volunteer money. Don't waste five-point money on the election, getting this passed and on the ballot. Strongly suggest you um, approve it tonight and let's move forward. This has been approved again by the state. We have a great team here. We're going to be out there. I do want to say I've had some great experiences from veterans wanting to uh, keep that site because of the um, runway took off on their way to Vietnam. They took off and practicing. They want to keep it there. They want the tower there. That is an important memorial for everybody that came through there since 1943. I think you could, should consider that in approving this site tonight. And my name is Tom Choman. Hope you approve it tonight and hope you have a great day. My name is Michelle Johnson, a 33-year resident of Irvine and a relative to 11 distinguished veterans. I'm speaking today to again urge the City Council to approve the artist site for the long-deserved final resting place for our veterans. For many months, members of my family and hundreds of volunteers have spent countless hours speaking to Irvine residents across the city about the need for a veterans cemetery on the artist site at the former MCAS El Toro. I want the city council to know that many voters are angry and disappointed at the inaction and diversions of our own city officials. I personally found the people of Irvine to be well informed on this issue. They know exactly what the artist site is and where it is located. One of the most repeated comments I heard from voters during this months long process was, how many times do we have to vote for this for the city council to listen to us? The voters in our city have had enough. They want the State Veterans Cemetery on the artist site without any further delays. Out of the hundreds of Irvine voters I spoke with, one stands out. 
He was the recently retired chaplain of the American Legion. He has been following this issue for many years, often being called to officiate at funerals for veterans. Because there is no local cemetery, he had to meet the families in Riverside or Miramar. Due to the distance, many elderly family members were often unable to attend their loved one's funeral. When the rest of the family eventually arrived, they were not only full of grief, but physically exhausted. But I think I will always remember his final words, quote, as I watched the casket being lowered into the grave, I knew that this veteran would be visited once more, maybe on the next Memorial Day or Veterans Day, and then because of the distance, they would never see another family visitor again. The disgraceful treatment of our veterans and their families by the city of Irvine is shameful given their service to our country. We owe them more than that, and that is why I support the Articite, unquote. This is your chance to listen to the voters who have lost patience with the leadership of this council. This is your chance to finally honor our veterans and approve the State Veterans Cemetery at the Artisite. The voters have spoken. Are you listening? Thank you. Um, I just wanna be a little clear about this, um, that this initiative supports basically a zoning ordinance. It doesn't provide any source of funding or direction to actually build a veteran cemetery Memorial Park or Air Museum. This has been a personal political battle that has been going on for years that I hope my council colleagues and I will hopefully end tonight. We're in the middle of a pandemic and I can't put any more of our time, energy and funds into another political fight leading up to the November elections. I want our veterans and our great park residents to know that we will continue to look out for them uh, please know that my vote tonight does not undermine your concerns. But this matter needs to end so we can work towards our future. And on that note, I move to adopt the initiative tonight as an ordinance. Is there a second, second. to that motion? There is a motion and a I'll second. second. Okay. So let's um, speak to the motion, please. Does anyone want to speak to the motion? I'll just say I think it's about time that we move forward with what has been voted on and now supported by almost 20,000 Irvine okay, so, residents. Okay, great. So there's a motion and a second on the table. Um, please call the roll. Councilmember Fox. Yes. Councilmember Kahn. Yes. Councilmember Quo. Yes. Vice Mayor Carroll. Yes. Mayor Shea. No. Um, okay, so that passes four to zero. Four to one. Uh, I'm sorry, four to one. I apologize. So understanding that this initiative has been adopted, um, I want to make sure that we create some kind of sense to the community. There's no money to build this veteran cemetery, so I hate to have this adopted without an understanding that there's some support. So what I would like to do is encourage my council members uh, that did support this to reach out to Five Point Community and see if they would be willing to transfer their, their suggested um, donation of 30 million or a portion of that toward the artisite. Uh, I think it's been concluded tonight that this is what is being desired. And so I would certainly suggest that. I would also suggest that we um, either council member, I say Vice Mayor Carroll, or one of our other council members would be willing to um, meet with the contingent that brought this forward and find a date that we could have an official dedication of that property so that the public knows this just isn't some kind of suggested uh, game plan here that we're just gonna adopt it but actually never build it because the initiative does not really call for that. So I would certainly support having a, um, a ceremony or some kind of um, similar to what we had at the Strawberry Field site, I think it's important that we let the residents know that we're not just saying something, but we're going to stand behind the, the, our, res, our um, I'm sorry, our veterans, and making sure that this artist site then is built for our veterans.